Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. And salutations to all y'all that like push this word in sincerity and truth. Coming back at you with another report. And this is from um, NBC News, uh, their website. And it's about um, types of foods. And the um, title of the article is called Tyson wants fuel government inspectors in one of its um, beef plants. Okay, that's what a period. And it says food safety advocates are raising alarms. Okay, which I didn't know Tyson uh, Foods uh, even made beef products because Tyson Foods are known for um, chicken products. Mm-hmm. And if you look it up, Tyson um, produces about, I'm going to say 80% of the chicken products and um, most grocery stores and restaurants all across the United States, man. Okay, all the little chicken patties and chicken fingers and, you know, like McDonald's burger, all that stuff, they sell, like, they chicken products. Yeah. And in the grocery stores, they, like, 80% of the chicken products comes with Tyson. And I forgot the other uh, thing. Um, it's another company that, that, that competes with Tyson, but they don't have as much um, of the production as Tyson does. And this other part of the article said food safety advocates are raising alarms, man. Because if they can't inspect what these people are doing with their farm production, they can do any damn thing they want, basically, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, and, and a lot of this is going to deal with a lot of people who end up with cancer. Once you got a skyrocket uh, cancer rate and um, diabetes, high blood pressure, pressure, basically a lot of health problems, man. Okay. The health inspectors can't inspect. That's their job to uh, make sure these people are uh, doing these products, producing these products the right way, man. Right. Okay. And all this farm raised, this and that, that's a bunch of BS, man. There's no farm raised nothing, man. It's in a down factory, something down there. Yeah, okay. Kind of. Yep. They got all type of documentaries showing you how they uh, produce their products, man, and it's no good, man. Okay. They feed these chicken with steroids, and these cows, they eating cows corn which cows are supposed to eat grass man cows are supposed to be grass fed animals man they feed them corn and they and they fuck them up like steroids man god they kill them put them in um machines while they still alive you know which you know that release releases a toxin when you know you're finna die <laughs> you know that releases, um, you know, that fear come, that releases um, a toxin, you know. Yeah. You know, and, and then you people are eat, eat, eating that stuff, man, you know. Because he yeah. saw it yeah. merciless, man, you know. He be killing them cows, putting them in the ground, they still be alive and moving, man. Yeah, and another part, the um, small nuts, man, they got a lot of this article says, uh, consumer advocates warned that the changes could threaten food safety by keeping red flags out of the sight of expert inspectors, man. So if these ex- expert inspectors aren't inspecting this food, what you think gonna happen, man? There's no rules, there's no hose bar, man. Huh. They can treat these animals any type of way, man. What's they treating them like hell any damn way? But they can speed things up on their production, man. Because there's a high demand for food product, and really it's a food shortage going on. Yeah. So that's why they should really get these people to um, stop them from inspecting the food so they can do any damn thing they want with it. Right, right, right. Then, yeah, like I said, you know, push out, the, right, that, the food, you don't know, shit, you open anything, any type of disease, or whatever, man. Yeah, they can say, um, this it could be cows with goddamn mad cow disease and all type of, uh, you know, beef infected and everything, and these people that that's inspected, now what's going to happen? You're going to have people uh, catching stuff, man. It's yeah. spread and all around the damn place, man. Yep. But this man is the goddamn devil, man. Ain't nothing but the so-called white man behind this mess. And this is nothing more but another form of genocide. And this is nothing more but the damn so-called white man being revealed. A.K.A. Esau for the devil that he is, man. God. God. God, God. Well, actually, you gotta be aware, man. Um, for real soon, man. Really, now you should be like we always say in our, always in our videos, you should be uh, eating more green stuff than me any damn way. But, you know, this is alarming, man. You, you got to watch what you eat, man. 
Okay. Yeah, just... So when, you go to the, when you go to the grocery store, you look at types of products, they got a lot of boneless and stuff, you know, simple ways to cook, you know. You know, bones in this store, you, it's easy to cook, so all this boneless stuff, you got to watch this stuff, man. Yeah, where did it come from? Boneless, man. They exactly. show you it's GMO. Yeah, I saw some of the grocery stores like boneless thighs, man. You know, chicken thighs. Like, how the hell is that possible? Right. Like, man, it don't make like, no what, damn sense. I mean, it's, that's a lot to cutting to be doing. I don't know if they got machines with people to do this, but <laughs> this is like, how the hell is it possible, man? It's GMO. It's not real yeah. chicken. Because real chicken going to have bones in it. Exactly. You know, just like they got, um, I always bring this up, seedless watermelon. You still see that in stores today. This supposed to be, you know, the seeds for watermelon. It's still hard to find seeded watermelon. Let us go to show you, man. It's, you know, you know, some, you know, summertime, you know, usually, um, watermelon season, you know, you go to the store and buy your watermelon. They st man, you still have a hard time finding the seeded watermelon, man. It's easy to find seedless, yeah, but that could just go to show you, man. This devil trying to um, fuck people up, man. Yeah, you literally got to go to them chicks that uh, come up there to Chicago from um, down south. They had those uh, yeah. trailer like trucks and vans, and they'll set it on the side of the road, and they sell their um, watermelons. They got seeds, you know, that's why you really got to go to man. Mm-hmm. They grow them down there. It's like you're going to the grocery store, you got a watermelon, look like a goddamn basketball. Like, what type of shit is this, man? It's some mutilated, some sad, some mad science type stuff, man. Right, right. That's how you know it ain't real. Right. It'd be shaped as a perfect ball. Right, exactly. You know. When I was growing up, a watermelon look, was, looked like a football, but more large. Huh? Yeah. It had seeds in it, a lot of seeds. Exactly. See, see this man, this, bro. This shit show go, go show you this devil is trying to get fuck people up pretty much, man. You ain't eating real food, man. Yeah, you know, usually show sure you got the water, you know, some chicks will put a sprinkle of little salt, just a little salt on it to kind of give it that salt and sweet um, taste. But you would eat it and then spit the seeds out of the cup, man. Yeah. Shit. You had script jock. Yeah, come on, it's on Job uh, 5 and 12. He's disappointed with the vices of the crafty, which is these damn Edomites that's behind the scenes doing all this madness, man, which is types of farms. You know, they don't want inspectors in their farms watching what the hell they're doing, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? So the most high is exposing these damn devils, man. Okay, it says, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, man. And the ultimate enterprise is what it says on the, God, on the Georgia Guidestones which they want, what, like, uh, 500 million people on the earth or something? Yeah, yeah, 5 million. 500 million, I believe. That's yeah, 500 million. That's one of their damn enterprises, man. That's what they want. Mm -hmm. Most of the damn population on white house so they can control people more. Yeah, it'd be a lot easier. And that's why they have you bunched up in one neighborhood. You know, that, that, and the script tell you, want to them build house to house. That's Isaiah 5 yeah. and um, 8. They get... Because, you know, they don't want people spread out. They want everybody bunched up in one area because that, that gives them better control. But now it's too many people on Earth, according to them. But so 500, when it's less people on Earth, that gives them better control. Exactly. Because it's hard, it's hard to um, keep up with everybody if there's a lot of people on Earth. It's a lot harder. Yeah, people are people bunched up together they can control the water system they can do all type of stuff to you that you don't um, inject the ass they ain't paying attention to I'm gonna say niggas right they ain't paying attention to they can do stuff to mess you up man right that's why they had you bunched up in one neighborhood Jake everything's segregated Jake in this neighborhood hell shit they do that too they, that. they could take out a large number of people with a bomb or something you know they could do that cause you all bunched up in one area that makes it even easy for them to take out a large number of people, large number of people as well. Yeah, like them trails, all that kind of stuff. Man. Yeah. Spread all over the neighborhood. Jake, niggas ain't paying attention to it. They got somewhere trying to smoke some weed and find a big booty hole or something. They ain't got no goddamn sense. Right. So they, they, they want to eat all the devices, man. Yeah. As once, long as Jake feel that it's not affecting them, they they not going to care. You know, 
That's how that's how the mind Jack how Jake mind run, you know. As long as they think it's not affecting them, they ain't not gonna care. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And another part of this article, I can say, um, Tyson uses his own employees to inspect their food rather than uh, independent, you know, Department of Agriculture inspectors to inspect it. So if they use their own employees, they own employees ain't gonna uh, be tricking off on them, and they probably pay them off. So be like, you gonna lose your damn job if you say something. Mm-hmm. More than that. That's it. Yeah. This Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom. Uh, we're just talking about Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. Let me see. So I can uh-huh. close this out. It says, uh, With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his, man. So, this devil, this devil, this devil like for example, this devil know we tell the truth, but. In his mind, he think he upset prophecy and um, shut brother's mouths up, you know. Think when he shut brother's mouths up and get rid of them, that, you know, this these words that we say now come to pass, you can out think the most I and all that. The most I got you deceived, man. He planned you. You know, well planned you, and you just, it's, it goes um, back to what you just read. He, he really believes that he could find a way to establish a new order plans and all, you know, most I got you deceived, man. You know, most I had them damn demons lying to you, <laughs> them, them lying spirits lying to you, having you thinking that you're going to be successful. Most I got you <laughs> de- deceived, deceived break, pretty much, man. Well, that was it on that. Yeah, and I'm reading this another part of the article saying the USDA is considering Tyson's request the first of its kind for its peace plan. Okay, so this is happened that has never happened in US history. Mm. That they're trying to get these um private inspectors to uh, not to come in there and inspect their products, man. Mm. Okay. Because why? Because Tyson is in with the damn government, man. Okay. That's why. Huh. And the respect is out too, man. All of them on the same damn team, man. They just bring it out like they all into it with each other. God. Okay. It's on Psalms 141 and 10. It says, Let the wicked fall into their own neck. Wolf that I will with all escape, man. Okay? So these devils gonna fall into their own neck because they're gonna kill a lot of people with stuff. They've been killing people with all these food products, but the Lord gonna ultimately destroy these damn devils. Yeah, yeah. Most I actually gonna be with you. These people are wicked, actually. So the Most I gonna be with you. Hey, script tell you he uses Esau Edom as a whipping stick. He uses Esau Edom. To, um, you know, cause Most I have hit out on a lot of people. He'll, he'll use Esau Edom to take them out, man. That's the only reason you gonna um, get away with killing a large number of people because they wicked as all hell, and the Most I want them want them to die. He gonna use you to take them out. Yeah, and this is part of the uh, famine that's about to come because if they poison their cows, which they probably, you know, they've been doing, they're going to jack a lot of people up. So I just want to read this uh, quick, quote, quick quote, rather, to lock you. Uh-huh. For an article, it says, they are bypassing state cards, okay? Basu, who we signed for the USDA in early 2018, said, it could be devastating for the whole country. You cannot turn it over, man. Okay, so that was stated for the whole damn country. They said you can't change it back, turn it over, man. Uh, this is an, an article. What you yeah. Re- re- uh, what part? At- it's, uh, let me see. If you scroll down the screen, you'll see a uh, factory with people outside. Oh, okay. And oh, you, you shrimp, shrimp and rulers. And then if you cut, cut, oh, okay, um, I see it. They uh, are pipe, all right. Yeah. They are bypassing and safeguards who retire from you. It could be a death exactly. cycle. Can I turn? Oh, damn! Con, con. Yeah. So he, he, he bring out the truth, man. You know, the old tongue, the old tongue falling off. They're revealing these double secrets, man. Con, con. Con, con. 
this is all part of um, that time of trouble, man. This is part of it. You know? Yeah. Yeah, kind. A lot of people going to be eating poison meat, man. <laughs> a lot of this meat ain't even real, man. Like it showed you that in uh, 1984. They was in that um, lunchroom scene, and he was like, it looks like meat, it tastes like meat. <laughs> right. You know, it wasn't even real, man. God. And was that um the Matrix too? What's the um dude? Uh I forget. Um he's with Morpheus and them they he um sold out pretty much. Oh, okay. That fuck does talk about here, dude. Yeah, 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 he's eating meat. I don't know, I have to look at the movie again, man. I think he was saying something about that, that meat wasn't really anyway to, to it, if I'm not mistaken. I had to go back and look at the movie. It's been a while since I've seen it. But I believe he was saying something about about that too. How the uh, meat food wasn't real. He yeah. knew he knew it, yeah. he's still eating the shit. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to read another quote from here. It's, um, it's from a former USDA official. It says, Without data that is directly relevant and without the results of a pilot program, they are basically winging it in an attempt to bypass the regulatory process. It is a former official who now advises private companies and declines to be named given his current work with the industry. So this is an insider who knows what the hell is going on, man. So he don't want to be named, but he knows what the hell they're doing and it's wrong, man. Mm -hmm. Because basically they're selling bad meat to people, man. Yeah. Oh, hey, what do you expect from the devil? He, he, he the damn devil. The devil's wicked, yeah. man. Wicked. They, they can't, no good in them, man. They can't do good. All they yeah, can do is eat. And the only reason why this article is not because it's affecting crackers, man. Yeah, okay? that's it. Because they've been selling bad meat in the hood. These goddamn dot-head Arabs, these no good damn carpet flying Qaddafi and all these motherfuckers flying on carpet. They've been selling bad meat in the hood for a long time now. But that's going to have an effect on all these damn crackers. So now they want to, you know, bring out the truth. Exactly. They expose the truth kind of what the hell is going on. Man. Huh. It was the same thing with, um, you know, um, just say no drugs. I believe that was that Ronald Reagan era, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Just, yeah, because it was faking them either, Mike. That's why it was just say no to drugs. But as long as it affect you, Jake, they ain't gonna give it two shits. But when it's fact that Esau eat them, now all of a sudden they care and want to bring out the truth. Yeah, rid of that drug campaign, like I came to find out when I was uh, doing some research, it wasn't really about affecting um, Esau. It was two cops that ended up getting killed in New York by some uh, drug dealers, some crack dealers. Oh, that's where it came and from. Yeah, and that's why they, it was two Edomite cops that got killed by crack dealers, and that's when the war on drugs began with uh, Reagan. So it wasn't even about them being uh, on drugs, because remember back then, most crackers was into cocaine. And right. that's a higher price than uh, crack. So now that the heroin thing is on, with these goddamn devils all over the damn street um, in America, now they're going to make it a damn drug campaign. But when niggas was sprung out on crack back in the day, they ain't have a damn thing to say. The yeah. only time they want to speak up is when uh, something happens to their people. That's why this mess is coming out, man, with this uh, food product. Con, because con. it's going to have an effect on them. Con, con. Well, guess what? Yeah, he saw he's not supposed to care about you niggas, man. He's not supposed to. What What enemy? Ca what person cares about the enemy? So-called white man is your enemy, man. Don't nobody, <laughs> nobody in their right mind give two shits about their enemies, man. Yeah, only thing, only thing you want to do is wipe all the men out and have these women for concubines. Yeah. That's what you want to do. Because we got the same goddamn mentality. You really will want, want them for concubines. You want to get rid of their ass, too. Well, hell, shit, after a thousand years of slavery, they all get, got rid of. <laughs> you know? Oh, exactly. You know, every last one of them, man. You know? And then Jake, hey, man, you got Jake claiming... Edomites concubines, hey man, when they start, they ate, these motherfuckers age quick as hell. They only going to get a good fucking, um, maybe 10, 15 years out of them when they start aging. You're going to get rid of the bitch anyway. Like, no, you starting to look yeah, old now, man. I ain't claiming no 
claim no damn boot for, I ain't claim no damn track for no contraband. If anything, it's gonna be a damn group or a Hawaiian woman or something. Uh, <laughs> you know, an Arab woman. Uh, a damn cracker. You, know, you can forget about it, man. But to each his own on that. Yeah, that's why I say that. Yeah, I was gonna say that's you, brother. You, I know you personally won't deal. With it. Well, it's bros that actually want to deal with their ass. But like I was saying, man, they age fast, man. You ain't gonna want to deal with them no more <laughs> after a good 10, 15 years. Yeah, you're like, man. Hey, all you gotta do is watch that dude uh, channel talking about uh, the wall hit them all. Yeah. <laughs> he showed them from like oh, uh, ten years earlier. You know, they was looking nice there. Ten years after they. It was fucked up looking, man. Mm-hmm. God. It was like a goddamn, a damn prune, man. God. You know, before a prune becomes a prune, that's a damn plum, man. Right. It is. Which is a good food to eat, and then a, a prune, man. Don't nobody eat those but old people, man. God. And that's the term. Cause they eat the white woman. They, they, they the damn devil too. They wicked as all hell, man. You know. Yeah. You know. I mean. Sh- Shit, you know. I mean, <laughs> ain't, ain't hell with them too, man. But um, let me see. Uh, you had another scripture. Let me go. Yeah, let me let, let me, me, bring, another, let me bring, bring out another part of this article. Come on, come on. Um, it's this guy Basu, you know, who's a, um, a former USDA veteran, veteran area rather. You know, he's been around for a long time. But it says Basu. The former USDA veterinarian is particularly concerned that four poorly trained workers will miss signs of antibiotic injections, man, which are linked to the proliferation of drug-resistant bacteria that can be transmitted to humans through poorly cooked meat, man. Okay, mm-hmm. so you know that these they inject these damn cows and chickens and these other animals that people eat with these damn steroids and all this other poison. And if they don't cook the meat well, which, you know, he saw like to eat uh, raw beef, you know, it's what they say, uh, medium rare. Yeah. You know, they're going to catch a damn infection, man. Because <laughs> these people are not infecting these cows, but it's, that's the Lord, man. That's another way the Lord is destroying these damn crackers. Man. And you like to eat, you like to eat your meat uh, medium rare, so it takes, it's going to take to start taking their ass out, man. Yeah, the blood. They eat, they eat the blood, man. That show you damn damn yeah, ain't, ain't right right there, man. Which is disgusting, man. Yeah. God, definitely. Yeah. This is, uh... I'm gonna read this off. Uh, Amos uh, 3 and 7. It says, Surely the Lord, Yahweh, will do nothing, but he will look his secrets unto his service the prophets, man. Okay, that's why we bring out this article. So I give my uh, to the hope of the elect, man. Let them know what time it is. Man, so you ain't gonna be able to be um, eating these food products, man. It's not gonna be healthy to be eating this stuff, man. You meet you back at the damn grocery store, man. You like to lay off of it. God. You know, you damn just gonna have to be a damn vegan, man. Yeah, he, he saw he's fucking around tempering that. Like, it's a lot better than that. Than, 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 you know, um, a lot better than that processed shit, but yeah, he, he, even that. Yeah, vegan, vegan, veganism is poison too. You know, they ain't, they ain't no better, but you know, it's, a, it's just pure death, man. That's all it is. Yeah, because bottom line is, is this, this is uh, Ezekiel four thirteen. We bring this out before, and the Lord said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I would dry them. You know, so yeah. there's no escaping. You no, know, whether the Lord drive drive you, I mean, you know we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. You are gonna be eating, eating um, GMO fucked up shit, man, defiled shit. Yeah. All right, you say you're gonna be eating among Gentiles, man. We've been scattered amongst the Gentiles. We eating poison with them. All right. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, the only reason why this article has come out or well, these people trying to expose types of foods, which, like we said, the number one um, chicken company in America, is because these damn crackers are being affected by that. Man. That's the only reason why this is information that's coming out. Man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because they've been, and they've been messing up Jake for a long time and he crossed the store with, these, with this poison, man. Yeah. 
TV TV dinners, microwavable, microwavable foods, and all that. None of that stuff no good for you, man. Yeah. You know, at all. You know, that's why Jake be fucked up now, man. So I told Ezekiel, you ate, um, uh, uh, what was the cow's dung for man dung? So this food is shit, pretty much, man. Uh, it's dung, like you say, dung. Yeah, it's dung. It's, 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 sh it's shit, man. You know, GMO, not real. Like I said, I didn't hear you going to have boneless chicken. Chicken supposed to have bone in it. That's how you know it's real. Yeah, boneless beef. You know, it's boneless steak. Yeah, see yeah, this. Damn, uh, they got a two-bone steak without a bone in it. <laughs> <laughs> they had sense that, man. These people so bugged out, they prefer it that way. Man, I don't like no bone in it. I just want it boneless. These people bugged out, man. Everything supposed to have bone in it. Yeah. Hey, the bones used after you finish eating the meat, you chuck the bone for flavor, man. <laughs> Yeah, Actually, you put, put it in that soup, and you put it in that soup, it'll make the soup even um, stronger, bring, bring the flavor out even more. Kind of. It shows you people don't have, they just, they just dumb, man. She, everything poor have seeds in it. You got seedless grapes and all that, man. Script to tell you, just first chapter, everything poor have seed in it. That's how you know it's real fruit. Exactly. All right. It ain't, it's not real if it's seedless. That's some fucking um, Frankenstein in a um, factory somewhere. Create that yeah, shit. God, God. I'm bad scientist fool, man. Yeah. You, you don't get the nutrients you need because shit ain't real, man. Exactly. You, you see how much yeah, you need yeah. to get the lift out of, out of this damn devil's hands, man? Yeah, then if, if, you have, if you get the seats and, it, and it's a poor person, they can go in their backyard and, and, or wherever they um, lay at and plant the seeds and grow their own fruits, man. Kind, you see that? Yeah. So you got homeless people out there, but no shit. You got a system where even the homeless can eat. But this devil, he destroyed all that, man. This devil actually throw away perfect good food and put a chain on the damn garbage can to keep the homeless for going in that damn garbage can and getting the damn food, man. This man's yeah, a damn God, devil. God. A lot of places, um, like downtown, if you go in the alley, you see chains on the garbage can and shit. like, why are they doing that? Well, you know, they want, for one reason, they prevent other people from dumping garbage in us. But one, they, they got, like you said, they throwing away all that good food that they can uh, give to homeless people now. Yeah. They don't want, want them to eat so they can put a damn chain on it. They're like, man, shit. Hey, you might as well just go up and give it to them, man. You, you ain't using it no more. You going to throw it away. But that just goes to show how much of the devil this man is, man. All right. Yep. He's wicked. All right. Uh, that was it on that. You had some out. Yeah, that's uh, Proverbs uh, 10 and 24. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him. Okay, and what's the fear of the wicked? That Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are in power over them, man. Yep. Okay. And that's why he come in that great wrath, because he know we have a short time, man, because... He's mad at the fact that he, that the most I set up um, certain men to expose his ass. Because once he's exposed, that, that's that's in his power. He got his power through lies, man. So once you expose his lies, you know, that he, he loses his power, man. Yeah, so he ain't got nothing else left. He had the end of the, of, the, of, the, um, of the road. So he ain't got nothing else better to do but to get by that which Yeah. And, uh -huh. and lying, lying say that, lies say that you getting carnal. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it was this different technology, facial recognition, all that, man. You're going to be using that yeah. to allow you saying you getting carnal. Thank you, he tricking the most side. Thank you, fooling him. Thank you, tricking the most side into 
think that brothers are getting carnal. Most I knew know you using your damn technology to lie on them, man. Yeah, because you want to play um, God like. Yeah. You know? Like the Lord will put lying spirits in people that these all want to do the same damn thing. Kind, kind, kind. And most I just use you to do that to test brother's faith. That's all that is. Yeah. <laughs> so, um. Uh, it says, uh, going on, it says, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. And what's the desire of the righteous man? That this world be ruled in righteousness, man. That the meek inherit the earth, man. That there's no more wickedness, man. No more bad food, no more whores, no more gang gang bangers and all this other nonsense going on in this world today, man. No more homosexuals and lesbians. Okay, that's the, the desire of righteous man, that the world be ruled in righteousness. And how about Shem Yahweh Shai, the king of the Israel, the twelve tribes, man. God. Okay. I know them Edomites and power the Edomites and power is pure wickedness, man. God. You should study when the righteous are in authority. The people are glad, but with the wicked rule, they mourn. Kind. It said, it said, so, you know, um, you know, it says, you know, what's it? So the was I go? So the ruler, the, well, however the ruler is, so the people, man. These people are wicked as all hell because the wicked, uh, the the ruler's a wicked person, man. That's why these people are wicked because the ruler's wicked. Now, when the righteous is ruling. Uh, the, you know, you you know, people gonna be right, man. There ain't gonna be no more wicked shit going on when the righteous in power, man. Yeah, he's all good. These people, this internet, man, and social media, and they are doing all types of stuff, man. At least all allowing it. But when you speak against it, they what they do? Shut your damn videos down in your channel and all types of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> man, that's proof right there. He's not he's not a, a right person, man. He's wicked. <laughs> You just proving us right. We be calling you the damn wicked. Proving us right by doing shit like that, man. All right. Uh, let me see. Uh, it was more to that. That's it. It's Isaiah twenty nine to sixteen. Surely, you know, matter of fact, start fifteen. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counts from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? You know, they been hiding they evil, wicked works. But now it's being exposed now. And that won't be destruction, man. You know, that's yeah, how you know we got you in. Huh? This one of their many wicked work, man. You know, trying to get inspectors out of their damn factory from inspecting that food by them. So they know that, that uh, meat ain't no damn good, man. Kind of, kind these animals up that people eat full of um, all types of steroids and other chemicals and stuff. And people consume this stuff, and what's gonna happen? It leads to steroid, I mean, uh, cancer, and, and various other diseases, man. And now these wicked devices are being revealed, man. God. God. And like we say, when 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 the, when the other crackers on the lower level can't be on the team with the higher level crackers, what they start doing, they start telling, man. Yeah. So this, this article has come about because somebody in that factory came about and started tricking off, man. Yep. What they what they say, uh, blow the blow the whistle. You know. Whistleblower. Yeah, because they can't be a part of the damn thing. So they what they gonna do, they gonna tell, man. Kind. Yeah, so you know them health inspectors, you know that what they call it, they have a, a recall, they they find out something's affected. They have a recall, they um pull it off the shelf or whatever. Right. Yeah. So now that they're not gonna be doing that, they're not gonna have to be having uh inspectors to come in and do that, which they don't have. Yeah. Be getting fucked up, man. Getting sick, of, getting sick and fucked up. Gonna be, <laughs> that affected, that affected meat gonna be on shelves. You gonna eat it and get get sick and fucked up, man. You know. Yeah, then, exactly. Then you know the people they had a recall. What do you think them people them come? They they mad as hell that they had that recall. They don't give a fuck about you people. They mad as hell about all that recall because they ain't making money. gonna have an actual family of food and water as well. Oh yeah, it's, it's gonna be that's, that's definitely part of the family. Yeah. People you know. get sick from meat, they're gonna be like, man, I don't eat meat no more. Yeah. <laughs> I 
few like to eat meat, like hamburgers and, and uh, you know, with the, you know that uh, sandwich meat, you know, turkey and turkey bread meat and all that was that stuff ain't no good, no damn way. It's a bunch of sodium in that. But people like eating that stuff. Mm-hmm. God, God. While you uh, get your health in order to best your ability now, while you still can. Yeah. Well, well, we keep saying to bring it out, eat more grain stuff than meat, man. God. We keep saying it over and over, man. God. Uh, finish up on the scripture. Um, it says, surely your turning of things upside down should be esteemed as pilot's clay, man. Yeah, it's part of turning things upside down, man. You know, you're going to create yeah. GMO foods, you know, <laughs> boneless. That turns things upside down, man. Food that post had seasoned bones in it, you gonna say you gonna create something that's, uh, that's boneless, it's seedless. You know that's upside down, man. That's that goes against what the most I set up, man. Yeah. All right. This devil turned everything upside down, man. So what's gonna happen? The most I is just gonna get this devil out the way, man, and, and, and uh, turn things um or what they call it right side up again. Things once the most I get this devil out the way, man, and, t- and boot him off the off the uh, ruler's seat, things are gonna go back to normal. How he's supposed to be again? Yeah. Uh, you know, you got as long as the devil's power, everything's gonna be up backwards. The earth gonna be out of course. Everything's gonna be backwards, man. All right. It says, "For Shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? Now that was it on that. You had something else. Yeah, I'm going to read another quote from an article. Uh, it says, We must keep food inspectors on the line to look for dangerous diseases and contamination. Okay? Republican Rosa DeLura, I mean, uh, Representative Brandon, Rosa DeLora, Democrat, Connecticut, chair of the Congregational Food Safety Caucus, said in a state, not to let outsource this vital role to industry employees, man. And industry employees are people who work for the damn company, man. And like we say, a person that works for a company, they're not going to say anything bad about the damn company, especially if um, they feel they lose their job or, you know, something happened to them, man. Mm-hmm. So they keep the food inspectors out like this lady said, it's going to lead to dangerous diseases and contamination, man. And that's part of the damn devil's plan to depopulate people, man. Yeah. So you eat, food, man, which he's doing successfully, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you eat, you eat that, you eat, yeah, pretty much like you said, trying to, that's part of his uh, plant, New York, New York order plan, is uh, uh, kill uh, billions of people, pretty much. Yeah. You know, you know, we have uh, f- a few people left, uh, which is uh, one of George Gaston with 500 million. They give him better control. He makes them feel yeah, more like a god. Huh? Yeah, you got to be up to get their food, you know? Right. Like a damn soup lab or something. Yeah. Oh, then everybody be chipped, too. You know, once we remain on Earth, he'd be chipped. He, he had, you know, he had know everything about him, pretty much. <laughs> That's his plan, but the most is going to, um, like, you read, that was the first script you read. He's going to um, disappoint. He, most is going to crush his plans, man. That's when you think he's um, at the top, or at, at, like, yeah, at the top of his um, game with his new world order, most is going to crush him. Yeah, most out. Yeah, most out. Ain't gonna allow him to go so far just to punish the wicked. That's it. Yeah, con, not con. You know, that's all that's for. And then you know, once that's up, man, most out just gonna um, um, what well, I'm trying to say, you know, um, just put a stop to that this man, man. Yeah, he's a mad scientist, so you know, you gotta, you gotta go, man. Yeah. yeah. Fugitive, a fugitive of the world, so he's, he's got to be taken out of, of power mm-hmm. and put a foot to his ass and um, get him in order. Yeah, um, yeah, man, shit, you know, wickedness is quick. 
Yeah, wickedness increase. As long as this Met Delve been ruled, the worse this earth gets, man. You know? So that's how we know we as in, man. Most eyes on the way to uh, take him out, man, because things are just getting worse and worse as long as this devil's in power, man. You know? I have no other scriptures unless you uh, want to bring some out. That's how Esau wanted too, man. You know, got you hooked on this GMO shit, you know. So, you know. Uh, yeah, so when the damn new world order comes, you got that stuff in your system and you used to eating it, you're going to be screwed up. Right, or you're going to be. Eating a damn six piece wing every day and they can't get that. <laughs> no, or, 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 you know, got you so hooked on it, now you're going to be relying on him. Now you're going to take the chip because you're going to continue eating that shit. and chicken. this one you, you said uh this is, um psalm 64 and 8 so shall they make their own tongue to fall upon itself all that see them shall flee away so like you said that's what this article is the tongue fall upon itself man they tell them they damn self man with this article yeah yeah because like we say though, the only reason why that article came out is because it's a whistleblower you know it's, it's gonna affect crackers so they tell it they warning their people what's about what's about to go down. Mm-hmm. Kind of, kind of. Yeah. So with that, we want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Jehovah,